<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Hit that subscribe button, grab a seat, and welcome to our second episode of Draco Music TV, where you can watch all the latest interviews and more from the Mississippi Gulf Coast hottest emerging music artists, hosted by me today, Lila Moore. Draco Music TV aims to shed light on all the hardest working independent music artists. Starting this week off right, we have today TTE Big Beasy, a Gulfport, Mississippi independent music artist and president of Track Team Entertainment Company. First off, we just want to say happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Um, so before we jump into the questions, um, you can tell the people a little bit about your company, uh, what your company's mission and hopes to achieve here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Well, really short, sweet, and simple. Track Team ENT, the company, mind that the company. I'm really focused on helping others as y'all helping me to expose themselves. Um, I also do cover art, uh, engineering, and I have a, a cameraman who I also work with. So we all about uplifting and making sure everybody be able to be to their full potential. Okay, okay. You want to uh, shout out to that cameraman? Shout out Gas Films, TTE, Big Kingfish. I see you, boy. All right, all right, let's get it. So uh, first question is, what first got you into music? Well, as I was younger, I was also a dancer. I always danced from Michael Jackson all the way up to the ushers. I like whoever that's a dancer, that's what I try to be like, you know? So also, I always have, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the drive. Yes, the drive and also the intellect to do what I know what I want to do. You know, even though you had the critics or the shuns and the yeah. naysayers, that's all fuel to me. Yeah. So what got me rapping, all honestly, is poetry itself. Mm -hmm. Then I just found the beat to go to it. And then I just started from there. I started back in ninth grade, all honestly. I was a Pasagula, really, uh -oh. around the time. Pasagula. Around after Katrina, around that time, I got a few people out there that know me. I also had a mixtape that wasn't pushed, but what's I, the name of it? You might have some fans it, that was back it, then. They no, might, it, they it, might it, it was it wasn't pushed at all. We, we uh, me and a friend of mine that lived down the street from me. Shout out Sip Slow. Okay. Uh, okay. We was a low. We was a gutter boys. He was a little gutter. I was low gutter, and we just. We just started off from there. Our whole block that was around us, people was into what we had going. We had older heads, young heads. They catch us in our rooms just trying to make music, you know? Yeah. Staying out the way. Okay, okay. All right then. Um, now, who inspired you to make music? Like, where's your inspiration for making the music come from? That's the word I was looking for earlier, inspiration. Yeah. Like I said, I was always a dancer. Yeah. So learning the words and rapping into it, I like how I like how it flow. So as I accumulated over time, I'm, I'm say let me, let me find my sound. You yeah. know, I was like in ninth grade, like I said, I came from Pasagoula, came back to Gulfport, came back to my old neighborhood, got back around my people. I had a friend of mine, he rapped fast. I had somebody else, he rapped slow. I was one in the middle. You know. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm I'm really about metaphors and standing out, you know? I like I like to stand out in my music. Okay. Even though if you don't understand it, you'll catch the concept. Yeah, I, that's good mm -hmm. this time, because I don't know everybody sounding the same, but to stand out is to mean that you're different. Mm -hmm. And you got your own sound, and that's good, because you can create your own sound and start your own genre. Mm -hmm. um, now, next question. Um, how would you describe the music that you create? What, what genre? Um, would you call it if you could put it in a category? It's more of a spoken word with me. Okay. okay. More of a spoken word. Uh, whatever you really want to say, I put it on wax. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what is your creative process like? Um, like, where does your lyrical content derive from? Like, when you go in and do your song, how do you get the the lyrical content that I, you have? I start off with just a line okay. or a beat or no beat. I can be walking around in the grocery store, cutting grass, just riding around doing whatever. Something come to my head, oh, that's fire. Okay. I'm finna add something to that. I'm finna turn it into a concept now. Okay. Think, I, I'm, a, I'm more of a theme music person. Yeah. Smoke Sinatra, 
drops today late on the night on youtube okay and um give everybody a shout out to your youtube name uh, facebook instagram you all can that search here. you can search tte big beasy on all platforms after tonight smoke some natural beasy being frank will be on all platforms other than tonight it's on youtube at nine o'clock all right all right you guys heard that now this next question is now who would you most like to collaborate with if you could pick one artist, independent or signed? Well, RIP to the late and great Mo3. Okay, okay. And also, uh, my my big my biggest go to is Don Tripp out of Memphis. Okay. I, I like his music because it really correlates to me on what on the stuff he does. Yeah. And I find a lot of my flow with that. So. Uh, it's either out of done trip, and if Mo three was still here, I would show you for that. <laughs> I okay, would show okay. you for that. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Now, if you could open a show for any artist, who would it be? Whoever need me, all honestly, whoever okay. who whoever that's about their business, and I can help them and help myself as far as in the artist. All right. Um. Now, what is one message? that you would give to your fans? All I can say is do you. Because right. by doing you, just like myself, it got me to this situation I'm in now. Yeah, that's right. Now, um, I know you got other talents other than music. So what would you be doing right now if it wasn't for music or running the business? Well, right now, I'll be at home with my kids. I am a father and a married man. Yep. Happily. Wife for three years. Um, <laughs> My kids, they nine, one of them's three, and all I do is show them what they what they need what's need to be done in this world right. before they get older. That's right, and that is a one of the best jobs to have so, of being a parent. That's what I'll be doing. You're right. Now, um, where have you performed? What is your favorite and least favorite venue? And do you have any upcoming shows? Well, I, my first performance, like actual performance. I was at Level, yeah, Level in Biloxi. Mm -hmm. Then I went from there and I went to Zodiac. I also been in Club Istanbul, New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, Temptations in Biloxi off Howard Avenue. And really, my, my first performance was last year. Okay. Because I really got serious with it last year. Yeah. Now, do you have any upcoming shows that you want fans to know about? Well, I have another show coming up in New Orleans, July 16th. Okay, okay. 7 p.m., the doors open. And so-so other uh, shows might occur, too, okay. between now and then. So I really don't know. Be checking checking out on my Facebook with Shad Deshaun Bennett Sr. You'll find out everything you need to know. All right, all right. So um, now, how do you feel that the internet has impacted the music business? Do you feel that it has helped it or progress, or do you feel that it's hurt the music business? What's well, your opinion on that? Well, the internet, the media allows you to see what the media wants you to see. Right. And as far as numbers goes, I do know how people scam out their yes, numbers, right. and I do know people that actually sit there and let it marinate, yep. generate as original without no help. So I'm one of the people that sit there and let it, let it marinate and generate by itself without the, without the extra just to, right. just to see how it will go but coming from me. That's right, and organically. If, yes, and if, and if I do have a major label or a major business like yourself, shout out Draco. All right. To, um, to come at me within your own business proposition about those type of views or whatever, yeah. I will use that. Now you have to use that. That's mm -hmm. right. That that's the only way you can get yourself seen, your content seen, anything right. you do seen. And the social media today, like I said, it, it it shows you what it wants you to see. Right. That's why, like I said to my fans, you have to do you. Mm -hmm. Well, they say uh, so. I was saying they says the internet shows. Your, what people think about you, but your character is really who you are. So that's that goes back to the organic. Mm -hmm. You you want to get those real fans because there's a lot of people buying views. Yes, crazy. 
But um, shout out on that though. Okay, all right. Now, um, what is your favorite song to perform? One of your songs. That's hard. That's that's hard to pick from. Well, like just give me one off top, like the one you would be like, I'm gonna do that one first when I go out. Um, I really like Style Free. Okay. Style Free, uh, because. It was it's, it was freestyle, then I switched the words, you know, style free. It really gave me a chance to uh, slow myself down and enunciate what I'm really trying to say. And if you do go to YouTube, TT Big Beasy, style free, mm -hmm. you'll be able to peep out all my content dealing with that situation on that and the words that I do have within that particular song means a lot to me because every song I do is me. All right, now this next question, um, I gotta ask this because a lot of artists, they some people like to get credit off of it, some people don't. They humble about it. Now, what is the most trouble that you have ever gotten into? You mean now? <laughs> <laughs> like in your whole life, like well, well, we you all know, got into trouble, but a big well, trouble. Well, the most trouble I ever got in was dealing with a situation that I wasn't even in. You know? Yeah. I went to my grandparents' house in my old neighborhood. Something happened out there the day before. Mm. No thought of nothing. Just got information from my grandfather. I leave, I go to the store, on my car right behind me. Oh, man. Pulls me over, asking me about somebody. I'm not gonna say no names, I'm just gonna yeah, say, ask me about somebody. So, I'm dumb to the fact. Yeah. I know what happened, I just got told, but yeah. it has nothing to do with me. That's right. And as far as trouble, <laughs> wasn't no trouble that I put myself in. But this is the most <laughs> yeah, right okay. here. So uh, long story short, pulled over for suspicious because they looking for somebody. Right. Um, police brutality mm -hmm. ended up leading to me doing an assault on an officer, which didn't happen. Yeah. You know, so had to pay court fees, fines, POs wow. for no reason. And, but, so is it being black? Yes, and that's the most trouble I've been in, wow. and I don't even be in trouble, so. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, what is the best advice that you have ever been given? A lot of it going through my mind right now because a lot of people tell me things that, okay. that I, I really take heed to. Yeah. The best advice is, well, I, I said it in one of my songs that's coming out in Christmas, me and my son. I said, um, don't feel critic. If they hating on you, then they take you serious. Right. That's that one so line. True. That's one line I said to my to my son. Like I said, if I wasn't here doing music or at this interview right now, I'd be at home with my kids. So, right. I'm, I'm really I'm really a family man. Okay. So like I say, um, don't feel critic. If they hating on you, then they take you serious. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that, doing something right. Then that's the advice I said to my son, and I take that own advice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's right. Right. Now, um, if you could change anything about the music and arts entertainment, if it was your world and you had the power to just change it, what would it be? It would be Track Team NT, the company global. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it and it'll be all all let's see, everything has its controversy. Right. Everything does. Everything comes with the bad and the good, good That's with the right. bad. It's all the way how you take that perception and make it your own. Right. Just like I'm doing now. So if this was my world, right. everybody be eating. Right, and guess why I say it's enough out here for everybody. It's, it's crazy how people think it's just too little, but this world is big. It's, they say well, only 5% of the world been discovered. Mm -hmm. So that other 95% is just waiting on people like us to grab hold of it and make it ours. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. So um, now my next question is is going into current topics of the day, one to topic in particular. Now, what do you think, your opinion about the current situation that's happening with Young Thug right now? He has a conspiracy case against him and the courts are using his song lyrics against him as evidence of his crimes and charges, which they can do. That's that's how they got Lil Boosie. Mm -hmm. They take your song. And they say, well, if you were not doing it, you know, you know, your word can be used against you. What mm -hmm. do you feel about that whole situation? The whole situation with celebrities in general, if you if you are popping, if you are popping, mm -hmm. you will have backlash. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. You, you will have backlash. And 
And as far as songs go, like I say, I be real specific with what I say within my songs. But mm -hmm. if I do have to make a, a, a actual definition to what I'm actually saying, metaphors won't be no problem to use yeah. if you get what I'm getting at. So a lot of these rappers don't use metaphors at all. They be too blatant, too blatant, which is easier for the courthouse to go ahead and take out every context clue they need yep. for that case. As far as Young Thug, I hope you hope you hope you keep your head, man. But um with that situation there, a lot could have been avoided yep. by using metaphors. That's right. We do have the freedom of speech, but you know, they they say you gotta be careful what you say because don't matter what you say, you can say it. Mm -hmm. But be prepared that what comes behind it, if it's some, you know, that could be used against you. Yes. Especially in court, where yes. they're looking to lock up any black man, or especially a celebrity black man at that. So, um, now, what's next for you? And where can fans go to find more about your music? Where is one spot that they can go to just find you and everything that you do? YouTube is the best you can find me on, because a lot of people don't have iPhones. I'm right. on Apple Music. I'm on Spotify. Trilla TikTok, you can find me on your Facebook story. Just type in TTE Big BZ, B I G G B Z. That's two letters. Uh, I was in a rap battle before, man, and I had a few of my competition didn't know how to say my name. They tried to name wow. flip, so that's why I say it's TTE B I G G B Z. That's right, you guys heard yeah. that. TTE B I Double G B Z. Now, before we close out, do you want to give shout outs to the family, friends, sponsors, affiliates, the team behind the scenes? All right, I'm gonna shout out to my team right now. Ch -ch -ch Track team, me and team, run it. Shout out Gas Films, Big King Fish, Addiction, Dream Chaser, The Dun. Okay, okay. Shout out T Raw RSO, Raw shit only. It's Track Team. And to my family, friends, fans, really everybody, either you like it, love it, or hate it. Shout out to you, too. All right. You guys heard that? All right. Thank you all for watching this week's episode, interview with TTE, B-I-G-G-B-Z. Please stay tuned for next week's episode, interview with another one of the Mississippi Gulf Coast Emerging Independent Artists. Thanks again for watching, and please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment in the section and tell us what you thought about today's show. Uh, we want to give a special thanks to all of our affiliates and sponsors. Shout out to Vinny Beats. Uh, all right, we out.